Hello everyone, welcome back. Hope you all are staying safe and staying creative. So as I promised last week, I've come up with yet another floral painting and this was a requested one from a couple of you guys to paint a water lily or lotus. So I thought of painting something different and so this is basically a glass plate which has a slight texture on the background and the front side is plain so I could easily paint on the front side. If you are in India, you can go and search for Kusmi glasses which is a, like a textured glass on one side and the front side will be convenient to paint and that will give an added texture or added visual impact for your paintings. I used to love painting on Kusmi glasses. Unfortunately, those type of glasses are not available here or maybe I am not sure from where I can buy. Definitely found out this plate from the dollar store and I was so happy to see the texture and can you see the water like effect that is already there on the painting and that texture is from the glass itself I didn't have to add any additional technique or paint to get that finish so that's the beauty of the plate itself. and the lotus and the painting just added the beauty so this will be a beautiful art decor for your home or office space so do try it out and as I always say find fun uh, in exploring new mediums and trying out new techniques so without any delay can we get started so this is the glass plate that I was talking about and as you can see it's beautifully textured on the back side and I'll be painting on this front portion and I have drawn this simple yet beautiful water lily or lotus design. If you want, you can stick the paper to the glass plate so that it will be much more convenient while drawing the outlines. I'm using this rich gold outline or glass liner from the brand Pebio. A lot of you have asked me about the Pebio glass liners. I think it's all available in Amazon. I will definitely try to add the link for all these paints. I haven't added as promised earlier, but I will try to find out the links and add the details for each of this paint or liner from Amazon. You can try it out, even though it's slightly on an expensive side. The paints and the pigments are really good. Also, you can feel free to use any other glass liner according to the availability at your place. Uh, I have always felt the glass liners from the brand Camel in India is also good. And in the package, you will get a slightly thinner nozzle as well. I think many of you had a doubt about this thin nozzle uh, to get this thin line. I think the thin lines make it more beautiful, the uh, glass painting. So the camel liners also come with a thin nozzle you just need to replace the one here i'm not showing the whole process of lining because you will get bored and as you guys know i like to draw from one side to another or from top to bottom there is no other special technique that i follow so i'm just showing few uh, portions where i draw the lines if you are a beginner or you are uh, working on a curved surface for the first time, it is better to stick the paper to the glass because while rotating these glass, uh, you will feel much more comfortable to have the paper stuck on the glass plate. In this portion, I thought of adding a small portion of yet another leaf and I'm using the same outline of the other leaf from the same design. So that's it. I've completed the outlining and will let it dry thoroughly before starting to add the paint. So these are the paints that I'm using for this painting. Basically, it's shades of pink, green and blue. I'll start with this uh, pink shade from Camel. It's a solvent based paint that I can use directly from this bottle. I really like this shade. 
as i have mentioned earlier since these glass panes or solvent based glass panes particularly have very harsh smell it's much better to work on a well ventilated area while using these panes or use a respiratory mask this is a slightly darker pink shade which is also solvent based from the brand amsterdam i have only few uh, glass panes from this particular brand but this this is really pigmented and i really like using this also it has got a good shelf life because i got these two paints a couple of years back and i still have that intact so for this painting since i have a slightly bigger design i am using a brush instead of a skewer or a toothpick so after using this brush i need to clean that and i usually use a uh, an odorless white spirit from the brand talents so basically for this lotus design for all these outer petals i'm trying to give two shades of pink Now let's move on to adding the slightly lighter pink shade in the inner portions of these petals. I'm using this brand called Marabou Glass Art and the paint is specifically for porcelain but I've tried this on glass as well and it works really well. So this is a slightly opaque pink shade. same way i'm painting the smaller lotus as well i'm using both the shades of pink the slightly opaque pink and the darker pink now i'm adding this sap green shade on the inside of this lotus also to the stem and the leaves This is Pebio Lightning Medium which is like a solvent to reduce the consistency or to dilute the paint basically. So I have applied the lightning medium in certain portions and I am diluting the paint and spreading it. For these leaves I am planning to use the shades of emerald, blue and dark green. I'm following the same steps and using the same shades 
to complete all the other leaves. Now that we have painted all the leaves and the flowers let me add some paint to the portions where the water will be and I'm using this beautiful horizon blue shade from Camel and that also I can apply directly from the bottle and it will give a beautifully uniform layer of paint. So with this paint my plan is to just add a uniform layer of paint to the portion close to the design and to the outward portion I am adding few horizontal strokes So basically I'm not filling the whole portion with blue, I'm leaving the plain portion as well and that will give a beautiful water like effect on the plate. Now the painting is complete and have dried thoroughly, I'll move on to adding few final details using this uh, same golden liner. So for this painting, uh, only for the lotus portion I'm adding this thicker outline using dotted lines and for rest of the painting I leave the liner as it is and highlight few portions also I'll add few dots here and there just to increase the interest This is how I completed the painting. I really like the contrast of shades with the pink, blue and green. I really hope this will be a beautiful piece of decorative art. I would recommend to use a small easel to hold or to display the small piece of decor. So that's it for today guys. Hope you all enjoyed watching this. I hope you all will try this out. If you are trying, feel free to message me on Instagram with your words. I would love to see what you guys come up with. 
so if you like this video as usual please don't forget to like comment and share this video with your creative friends and if you're new here please do consider subscribing the channel for more interesting and unique arts and crafts videos so stay tuned guys thank you so much for watching